Hi Gemini, welcome to your January 2021 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. Uh, with that said, if you haven't seen it, don't forget to check out your 2021 tarot scope with me. Uh, you can do that on the link in the description box below. If you haven't seen it, you also have a Life Path series of uh, readings for 2021 as well. So check that out in the link in the description. Before we start, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you all on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what January 2021 has in store for you. So for your actions and interactions with the world at large this month, you have the two of cups. You are all about the love, all about the love, the connections. Uh, for some of you as well, I actually feel like this is going to be you doing your best to rebuild a connection of some sort. So maybe like a friendship, maybe uh, an old, um, you know, maybe you've fallen out with an acquaintance, maybe you've fallen out with a sibling. This is going to be you really doing everything that you can to spread the love of this month, which is really, really great. What an amazing way to start the energy of the year as well, right? You've got the two of cups. This is lovely. Um, and what it suggests to me is what you're all about this year are your partnerships, your connections, your collaborations, um, maybe even, your, even your commitments. And in a lot of ways as well, this suggests that you are... It's kind of like you're ready to finally start loving yourself again, right? And when you move into that space of loving yourself, you can love everybody and everything else so much more. So I really like this for you. Um, for your, excuse me, uh, money and materials, you got your card, the magician, right? Beautiful. Um, well, I say your card, it's one of them that could represent you. Um, now, this is great. Uh, it suggests that when it comes to your finances and your money this month, this is going to be a time where your ideas must take precedence. If you've got a business idea, if you have uh, a side hustle idea, if you, you know, whatever idea you have, this is a time to really start putting the pieces together in the background. Uh, coupled with the two of cups as well, this would be a really good time to start putting the feelers out to see who's going to be on board with this. Um, you know, reaching out to people. Are you available for this at a later date? Do you want to be a part of this? This is the time to start building your network. Now, with the magician card as well, this is about being able to literally create something from nothing. So it kind of suggests that whatever you are building, creating working on behind the scenes um it's you know it could potentially be a real money spinner uh when it comes to your physical health and vitality this would be a really good time to think about how your energy affects your health um so this is like your thoughts the words that you speak and i know this is this probably sounds like really to a lot of you but stay with me on this right because I've noticed that when you use certain words or certain speech or you speak about certain very heavy things it's it's all an energy right and you're going to start to draw that in so check your intention check your energy check your integrity see where they are um, and make sure that you keep them at a certain level and only interact with people that keep it at a certain level as well that will go a long way over the course of this month and actually over the course of this year uh, for your um, home and environment as well it looks like a lot of you are doing something to the home um, you know just to try and switch it up for a lot of you I kind of feel like you might be putting like a home office together of some sort which is nice really really nice making space all right for your communications and conversations you have the seven of pentacles um, now when it comes to your work I have to be really honest there are no quick fixes here right whether this is the actual day job whether this is the side hustle whether this is the vocation for those of you that work for somebody else um, this month is going to show you how far you have to go right and don't let that be the thing that deters you let that be the thing that spurs you on right so if someone says right okay if you want that promotion we're going to need to see 16 months of solid effort in the back of your mind magician card say to yourself right okay you said 16 months 
to that, that doesn't work for me, I'm gonna do it in 12 or even less, right? This isn't about taking that, it, it's about knowing that you still have far to go, but not just taking that lying down and saying, oh, well, you know, they said I've got this month, this long to go, so I might as well just resign myself to my fate. No, you take that in hand and you co-create with it. Um, for those of you that work for yourselves, this coupled with the Magician card, whatever it is that you're starting, initiating, whatever project you're, you've got going on behind the scenes, it is going to be a slow build, but I promise you it will be absolutely worth it in the long run, right? So this is why connecting with, collaborating with, working with the right kinds of people at this moment in time, very, very important, right? And like I said, because this month, the energy of this month astrologically is still a little bit intense. So this, you're only building the network, right? You're only building the foundations. And then for those of you that don't work or are retired, etc., this Seven of Pentacles is going to see you really asking yourself this month, and it's coupled with the Magician card, um, what are the skills that I have that I've gained over my lifetime that I can now put to use, right? This is about really taking the, the, the skill set that you already have and doing something with it. For some of you on a really mundane level, um, this would be getting out into nature and doing something very physical or practical, gardening, um, you know, helping somebody to build something that they need to build, like all of that kind of energy for your heart and half you have the five of cups so for those of you that are single i'm sorry but this does look like a slow month for love right even with the two of cups there um it just kind of suggests that you've got a lot of other stuff going on so you might not be so focused on the love life for those of you that are partnered already this kind of says what now i did say you'd be mending a rift this month with uh, you know a friend a sim etc it may be with a partner as well, but I will say this to you, five of, five of Cups coupled with the Seven of Pentacles is gonna be slow, all right? So if there is an issue between you and your partner, it's gonna be slow going, but again, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly, right? For your weeks of the month, for your first week of the month, you have the Death card underneath the Two of uh, cups. So this is going to highlight to you this first week of the month you will know if the relationship between you and a friend, a sibling, an acquaintance, an old colleague, um, an in-law, if it is salvageable you will know straight away here in this first week of the uh, in the first week of the year you will know if there's a connection that has been challenging is salvageable. This is where you're going to be very very clear about that and I actually really like that for you because it means that you won't waste time and energy on something that you know has no chance. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's a good thing. It really can only be a good thing. For your second week of the month, you have the Hanged Man uh, coupled with the Magician card. So <laughs> the message here is, I'm sorry to say my dear, my dear uh, Geminis, it's just time, right? That you're gonna wanna flip between everything and do everything fast and did it. And the energy of 2021 kind of mirrors that, right? It, it's a very mercurial and Uranian year this year. Um, so energies that you're kind of used to, that you can kind of work with, but the problem is January isn't that month, right? It, it's, this is a month where you're gonna need to take it relatively slow to really figure out what steps you should be making. Like in my mind, I have the image of, you know, like those Indiana Jones type situations where if you step on a certain stone too quickly, the floor, f floor falls in. Consider January as that kind of month. Um, with your hanged man, yeah, whatever your ideas are, if you try to just throw them out there straight away without doing the foundational work or the, or the, the, the background, the chances are it's not gonna go very far and you may end up losing what you put in, right? It, it's saying that if you do this right in and over the long haul, the success that you're hoping for is absolutely there. But if you try to force it and do it all in one, it's gonna fight you. Then you have the tower card underneath the seven of pentacles, right? So your third week of the month, I've said this as well, because these middle two months of January, they seem to be a bit topsy-turvy. So it'll be interesting to see what comes up. Um, now, 
I'm telling you to go slow and you will probably feel that energy, right? And it may be that someone or something around you is like, this needs to be faster, 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 faster. You go at the pace that is comfortable to you, that feels right to you. Because at the end of the day, if you make a mistake, that's gonna be on you, right? So you take all the time that you need and uh, let everybody else do the headless chicken bit. And then finally, for your fourth week of the month, you have the Emperor card, right? So for those of you that are married and in long-term commitments for a while, like I said, there, there is a potential here for you to fix it, but this, in a way, it kind of feels like there's gonna be a bit of a battle of wills. Um, and it's really important that you don't give any energy to that because you've got so much other stuff that's really good that's gonna be you know, demanding your focus. Put your energy there where it's gonna be best utilized. And then for your, uh, for those of you that are single, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't feel like it's a good month for love for Gemini's, I'm sorry to say. Um, if you're single, stay focused on your work, your money, um, you know, and your health, but just put, put your time and energy into those things. There will be time for, there will be time for playfulness later. Um, for your key to the month, you have the wheel of fortune, right? So whatever appears to be a setback this week, this week, this month will be a blessing in disguise. So just let it flow. All right, so every time you think, oh, this isn't happening the way that I want it to, or as fast as I want it to, and oh, that's it, then it's over, don't do that. Just let it, just let it flow, right? Because you will see very quickly that it is an absolute blessing in disguise. It's done you a big favor in the long run. All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.